Good afternoon and what is good, YouTube? And as you can see, I am no longer calling my vlog story my life unequivocally me, as that is what I called it before I became a flight attendant. So now I'm calling it flight or flight, you know, as in fight or flight, flight or flight. I'm going to do my best to vlog every single one of my trips, even if they suck. <laughs> But I'm going to take you along with me and show you my perspective of being a flight attendant. And I will also do my best to vlog my everyday life when I'm not in the air as well. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm still debating whether to keep my channel handle as is or if I'm going to change it to flight or flight. Right now, I'm currently using my legal name, but I think I may switch it to flight or flight. I don't know yet. Anyway, as you know, I am Cleveland-based, and being Cleveland-based is a huge challenge. Being a commuter is a huge challenge because today, and this is the second time it's happened, I am not able to non-rev on any of the flights. Everything is completely full, book solid, Southwest, Delta, United. Everything is just packed to Cleveland. I don't know why. Um, it is a Sunday, though, so I'm guessing everybody is just going back home. But it is ridiculous. I There are at least anywhere from 5 to 15 standbys for every single flight that I've looked, and it's just hopeless. So I'm actually going to be making the drive again. It's going to be the second time I've done it this month. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to vlog as much of my road trip as possible up to Cleveland, up to base, and I'm going to be staying at the commuter hotel tonight, and then I have to check in pretty early tomorrow. I think around 7.50 a.m. is when I have to check in. But mainly this vlog will be about the drive up and the drive back. You get to see what that's like. All right, made a quick gas stop, so I am full of gas, and no, I mean, I am not full of gas. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear it before I said it, wow. So my car is filled with gas, and I am good from here to Cleveland. Okay, now this is something new for me. I have actually never had Celsius before. I'm not gonna drink this now, but when I do, I will film my reaction. Unless I open it and drink it while the car's in motion, then in that case, I will not film myself, but I'll let you know what I think. Never had Celsius before, and I hope it helps. Hey you guys, crossed into Pennsylvania now and I'm just taking a quick break. Just gonna take a bathroom break and then stretch for a little bit because my feet are getting very tired. But hopefully I should be there by seven. It's saying 6.30 now, but the thing is is that I stopped and I need to get some chips. I'm, I need something to snack on right now. Hey guys, finally made it to Cleveland, finally. So I'm going to be working a three day trip out of here. I'm gonna be having a layover in Burbank and then a layover in Albany. And then I'll have just one day in between and then I have another trip with layovers in Portland, Oregon and Costa Rica. But unfortunately, both of those are gonna be airport layovers. So I'm not really anticipating on doing anything fun, but who knows, we'll see. I get into all kinds of shenanigans. All right, well, I'm headed up to the room now and I am just going to relax a little bit and then Jack is here. So we are both gonna go to dinner. Sorry, I've been on the road all day. I'm gonna make Jack do the driving. <laughs> oh, wow, it's a beautiful moon. Huh. Mm. It's a Hop Goblin IPA. It's so delicious. <laughs> so those are tots. Holy crap. These nachos look really good. Good morning. It is 4.30 in the morning and I am sleepy. Very sleepy. Jack's in the shower right now and we are actually getting ready to work this trip together. And we are ready to go. Well, it is my first time parking in the Cleveland employee lot. Yep, very first time. And it is still very cold. It is really, really cold.
but I like the background. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have an agent yet. Our first leg is to San Francisco and then to Burbank. And we are just waiting patiently. <laughs> up waiting in SFO now and we're gonna connect to Burbank and I am really tired. I need naps so badly. <laughs> There's actually a yoga room in this airport. <laughs> That's okay. This is what happens when you haven't eaten all day. You eat a cold chicken breast. Got it. Got it. Got it. But what? Does it look stupid? No, it doesn't look stupid. But I don't have to but include that in my vlog like, if you don't want to. But you caught me like. <laughs> I think so. I'll have to check. I'll have to double see, check. See how it looks. Okay. Because, I mean, it doesn't look like a cylindrical object that you would feel like. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. <laughs> okay. All right, we are at our layover hotel in Burbank, and Jack got the suite, lucky him. And we took naps, and I'm going to have my Celsius now, and then we are going to explore just a little bit, and we're probably going to meet up with a friend of his tonight for dinner. It's a cute bar. Hey, guys. We are downtown Burbank now, and we are getting ready to meet Jack's friend, Jonathan, and we are, we still have like another hour before he comes, so we're probably just gonna walk around a little bit. Jay's brew house and I am still waking up. I took about an hour nap. Today's been a long day. I like Burbank. It's a nice town and the weather's beautiful so it's kind of a perfect day to just be out and about. We have a really long day tomorrow and our layover will be a relatively long one too in Albany, New York but the first three legs I mean they are just wow. Hey good morning YouTube. It is 4 30 and I'm just trying to get some Cream some sugar for my coffee. I'm gonna go back to bed. Van time's 5.45. <laughs> and oh, you're right, I have a zit. Oh man, right on my chin. Yeah. Yesterday afternoon, we got to stroll Burbank for a little bit and it's a lovely little city. And I was hoping to go see the Hollywood sign, but I think that we were just so drained of all of our energy. The trip yesterday was pretty long and we were just a little too tired, so we just decided to go to downtown, walk around, met up with one of Jack's friends, and we, yeah, just had a couple of drinks, chatted, caught up. He's an aspiring flight attendant too. His friend's supposed to have an interview with an airline today as well, so best of luck to him. Yeah, but van time is in just a little over an hour, about 5.45. We are going to work Burbank to San Francisco, San Francisco to Chicago, then Chicago to Albany tonight. Do it again. Okay, we are all ready for Albany. Are you? <laughs> Let's get the stay over with. How about that? Just get good love. Do it. Do it again. It is 
nice and cool on this outdoor, well, ram, not jet bridge. I almost said jet bridge, it's ram. But we are ready to do our first leg and it is gonna at least be a nine or 10 hour day. It's gonna be a very tiring day, hoping for no delays. But once we get to New York, I mean, at least we can sleep in. That's the positive. Don't you fear, like living in a dark year. That last leg was rough, you guys. I just want to get to Albany now. Hey, guess where I am? Laid up next to mine. Sweet love in the midnight. Good sleep come morning light. No worry about nothing. Just get good. We have made it to Albany, and boy, I am exhausted. I think I need toothpicks to like keep my eyelids open right now. Are my eyes red? I don't know. I'll ask Jack. <laughs> So me and Jack, we got to the hotel room and we just collapsed completely. <laughs> and it is the first time, and probably the first time with this job especially, that I have gotten eight hours of sleep in a layover. I feel incredible right now. <laughs> Diner looks really good and it was also recommended online. You like pickles? I love pickles. Give me the pickles. Thank you. So, what did you get, Jack? Chicken pesto pinini. And I got the grilled cheese with tomato. All right, just finished our lunch and me and Jack are going across the pedestrian bridge to the riverfront. And yes, yep. I am still wearing my shorts. <laughs> That's the Midwesterner in me. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, I'm, we're just gonna take a little walk before we get ready for our trip. It's kind of a overcast day, but it's not bad. An overcast day, not a overcast day. They do what? They do river cruises. Oh. River 
That'd be nice. Okay guys, it's almost time for us to go. We are headed downstairs in the next 20 minutes and saying bye bye to Albany. All right, everybody, have a good one. If you like what you saw, please smash the like button. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe. Mm -hmm.